few years ago, advising another president on a number of issues. I was invited by the government of uh, uh, Pakistan. I was invited by the government of pa well, we. I was invited to at that time to demonstrate that that the, that the nation of Pakistan was open to religious pluralism. A great gathering, the first night, great gathering of people, and I mean great gathering, in the thousands of people, 60% plus were of the Muslim persuasion. And, and, we, and we, we, I wanted to preach. I was in charge of, of the, the pulpit task was mine that day. And, and I, I, I want to tell you how I preached the, and the light was exposed, but I, I, I can't tell you that of integrity because there was a bit of fear for reasons that I'm not going to get into the details, just, just the fact that some clerics of that majority religion of that nation were seated on the left-hand side, surrounded by a security apparatus, and they were not carrying Korans. And because I saw that right there, it, it, I, I don't even know if I mentioned God. I think I said the, the, the big love, air, he loves you. It was Barney Christianity on steroids. And then finally, we, we turned around, and then we went into the hotel, and, and, and Raymer and Jerry, Jerry looked at me and said, Pastor Sam, we've traveled thousands of miles, and we can't be silent, and we can't hide the light. Just let it go. Preach it. So the first thing I asked, have you all paid up your life insurance policies? <laughs> and I, I'm not, I really did. And, and then we looked at a, 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 a sort of a, a backup plan. What happens if something happens? Where do we run out? We found out there was no exit but through the crowd. So we let it go. Second day we go up there, we start preaching. I look at the crowd on the right-hand side. And as a good preacher, I ignored them. And I went this way. And, and I preached on, there's only one way. I kid you not, one way. Didn't mention the other. And, no, I just said one way, Jesus. Boom, Jesus saves. I went over here and said, Jesus delivers. I just briefly went over here where they were at, the Muslim clerics, and I went, and Jesus heals, and I immediately ran over here. <laughs> I'm just being honest, right? And, 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 and right there, at that moment, this, this young man stands up, and, a, and an older guy stands up, and he starts yelling. And yelling like, ah! And I hear the ruckus, and, I'm, and with peripheral vision, I'm trying to ignore it and trying to be, you know, play a California cool, like I'm not hearing it. And I'm going, oh, Señor, ayúdanos, Padre, la sangre de aquí, Dios te pega, Padre, Señor. Lord Jesus, help us. And, and, he, and they run up in the front, and they, and they come up to the stage. Jerry's right here, and I'm going, this is over. It's done. It's done. And get her done. It's done. <laughs> and, and they approach the side, and Jerry, and I'm trying to preach, but Jerry's like, like this, and they're very animated. And, they're, and then Jerry looks at me and says, Pastor Sam, thousands of people, thousands of people. He looks at me and says, Pastor Sam, give him the mic. And I said, that's Spanish for loco en la cabeza. And he went, give him the mic, trust me. They come up here, the young man comes up, the 80-year-old the, the, the man with him come up. The young man looks at me, I have the mic, I'm looking at Jerry like, what have you done? And, and, and the young man comes up and says, Mr. Cleric didn't call me preacher. He said, Mr. Cleric, this is my dad. And I went, okay. He said, no, it's not okay, this is my dad. And I go, I got that part. He said, no, you don't get that part, That's, this is my dad. I go, got that part, he's your dad. He said, he's 80 years old, I am his son. Wonderful, lovely, how may I help you? And I'm looking at Jerry like, what is this? And I knew he came from the cleric section. And he goes, this is my dad. He was the lead cleric. He, Wait, this is my dad. I go, okay, and what's the problem? He goes, there is no problem. This is what I know. My dad was born completely blind. So all of a sudden, dad is doing this. And dad begins to touch his son's face. And he begins to cry, and he touches his son's face, and he begins to cry. And, and then I said, Wait. then dad grabs the mic and says, you, 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 I, I was born blind, and, 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 and we translate it from Urdu to English. I was, I, was, I was born blind, and I go, okay, completely blind. And you pointed, and you said, your Jesus heals. And the moment you said that, and, I, and it, the, my eyes started opening up for the first time. He goes, I can see, I can see, your Jesus healed me. I can see, I can see, silence is not an option. There is still power in the name of Jesus. There is still power in that mighty name. There is still power in the name of Jesus. Silence is not an option.